हेलो गाइस यू आर वाचिंग मेंटोरिंग इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम द मशीन डिजाइन व्हिच इज व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो व्हाट इज अ स्प्रिंग स्प्रिंग इज एन इलास्टिक बॉडी व्हिच फंक्शन इज टू डिफॉर्म और डिस्टॉर्ट व्हेन अ लोड इज अप्लाइड ऑन इट एंड टू रिकवर इट्स ओरिजिनल शेप व्हेन दैट लोड इज रिमूव्ड सो व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स so these are the some basic types of springs we have helical springs conical and volute springs torsion springs laminated or leaf springs disc or bellows springs so what are the what is a helical spring so as the name suggests so these springs are shaped in the form of an helix and there are two basic types of so these are again divided into two different types Uh, compression helical springs and tension helical springs so compression springs are here with these straight ends and they have they have some pitch in their coils and the tension springs have these hooks and the coils are are just combined with each other and then we have these conical or volute springs these springs are again also shaped in the form of an helix but they are not shaped they are they are tapered to some extent depending on the application so and these are the volute springs and uh, these volute springs have very specialized application we will discuss that later and these springs have a spring rate which increases with the load so this is the example of a compression helical spring and these springs are are usually found in the suspension for the vehicles these tension springs are can be found in a trampoline and they also have many examples that that can be found in our then practical world so these are the conical springs these springs are these springs are were also used in the suspension of cars and trucks then we have these volute springs so these springs are here picture from a conveyor belt which is being used in a tank and and these springs a uh, speciality about these springs are that they are that these are made out of these bars and these bars just slide over each other and they can be compressed to a very small length which is not very achievable achievable in helical or helix springs and the other type of springs are laminated or leaf springs these springs are just these bars rectangular bars which are clamped with each other and they are also found in the suspension of uh, big trolleys and they are also known as flat or carriage springs then we have these torsion springs these springs are are shaped in the form of a helix or spiral and they usually operate by bending then we have disc or bellwell springs okay these springs have have also have a specialized application they are they are mostly used along with the bolts on in their center and they are, they are very strong and and these are used where high amount of force over small deflection is needed and this is the application and and a picture of a leaf spring so as you can see here these are these bars which are just held up against each other using these clamps and these are this is the example these are being used in the in the suspension of a large truck then we have these torsion springs and so these are these are also very commonly used uh, they can be found in different type of toys in the form of these spiral springs here and torsion springs have also very application in the in the hair clipper and these exercise machines for the face then we have these bellwell springs these bellwell springs are as i told you that these are you mostly used along with the with the bolt so springs have very very large applications in our in our practical life where where the vibrations or where the damping is required and we have to avoid any type of shock any type of shocks like like in railway buffers and uh, in the air aircraft landing gear 
so they are also used in these cam and solvers in the engine and also as a energy storage in twice that i that i already showed you in these previous slides so these are these were the applications and different type of springs so that's it guys i hope you have learned something i i also have attached link for the for the springs that you can model that how can, how you can model these different type of springs in solidworks uh, please don't forget to like and share my videos please please also subscribe to my channel thank you guys okay bye